What's up, guys? I hope you're all doing well in the current lockdown state. So I've come up with another look for you guys today. I've already done my skin prep and everything like that. If you'd like a full base tutorial, let me know down below. Otherwise, moving on with the eyes, I'm going to go straight in with my NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk. It's a nice cream like eye base. It's great to prep the eyelids to make them a nice blank white canvas for the eyeshadows that we're going to be applying over the top. So I'm basically blending this all over the lid. It'll help the colours to stand out a lot more opaque against the eye base, basically. Against the eyes. Next, going in with our first colour of the day, I'm going to take this beautiful, like, two kind of yellowy orange tones and I'm applying them through the crease. And I thought, oh, I want a nice crisp edge to this eye look. So I decided to go ahead and play some tape right up against my eyes. I, of course, first of all, lessened the stickiness on the back of my hand so that it wasn't too harsh and it didn't peel off my uh, my foundation and everything like that. Then I went back in with that fluffy crease brush from Zoeva and some of those yellow and orangey tones and I applied that through my crease and I actually made them quite opaque. I want them to be a really strong transition um, as we're going in with quite uh, dark colours today. Then I'm going to take this more deeper orange tone from my Sugar Pill Burning Hearts palette. This is in the shade Flame Point and I'm applying this on with a soft definer brush from Zoeva and I'm applying that all the way from outer corner to inner corner following the initial shape we've created with the transition colour. Then I go back in with those softer yellow orange tones and I'm just basically softening out any harsh lines or edges. To further deepen out the outer and inner corner for this halo smoky eye, I'm going to take this almost saddle brown shade, it's an orangey tone brown, and I'm applying that on my outer and inner corner. I'm building it up to be quite dark as well. I want there to be a nice soft gradient from that initial transition colours into the deep orange and then into this deep orangey brown shade. I'm just packing on the colour on my outer and inner corner to initially start the shape of the halo smoky eye. Next I'm going to take this ready tone eyeshadow and I'm placing that on with a chisel shader brush. I'm just packing that all over the outer and inner corner right next to that orange shade. Then I'm going to take this uh, pinky shade and again with the same brush I'm going to pack that next to the red. So I'm creating a gradient along the lid as well from the orange into the red into the pink. Next I'm going to go in with concealer and I'm going to basically carve out the halo eye on the center of the lid. So I'm using a eye concealer brush to do this and I'm placing on the concealer up along the center and also kind of expanding it out as it gets to the crease if that makes sense. So it starts off against the lash line quite thin and it gets thicker as it goes up towards the, the crease area of the eye. Then I go back in with a petite crease brush and those initial shades that we used before, so the reds and the pinks. And I'm just going in and just creating that gradient effect next to the concealer in case it got buffed away or covered up. Next I'm taking this absolutely stunning shimmery purple shade on a precise shader brush from Zoeva. And I'm packing that on right up against the pink shade and up against the concealer as well. So in between those two. And I'm packing it on till it's nice and opaque. Like I said, I'm starting off thin against my lash line and getting thicker as it goes up towards the crease area. Next, I'm taking this absolutely beautiful shadow from Makeup Geek. It is the Pegasus Foiled Eyeshadow. It's a beautiful kind of aqua turquoise shade. And I'm basically repeating what I did with the purple. So I'm placing this on the very smack bam center of the eyelid starting off thin and then going and creating a more thicker effect up towards the crease if that makes sense and i'm just kind of hugging the crease area keeping to an almost cut crease per se but instead of it being across the whole lid i'm just cutting the crease in the center of the eyelid then going back in with some of the pink i'm just going to bring back that gradient effect so those shadows all blend nicely together. This actually took me quite a while, guys. So patience is key with this. You just got to keep going back and forward between all the shades, basically to get a nice soft gradient. And I'm very much a perfectionist, so I really did take my time with this and try and get a nice smooth gradient effect. So all those shadows blend perfectly together. Then I'm going to take my eye concealer brush and some of that concealer again. I'm going to cut the crease again but not across the whole lid so I'm literally just cutting the center of the lid 
so right over top of that halo eye um, just to really define that up and I'm keeping it quite a thin line as well really tiny and really precise and then over top I'm going to take my Juvia's Place Deuce palette in this beautiful shade called Puffs on a precise shader brush it's a beautiful shimmery pink shade I'm placing that over top of the concealer once you've done that and you have a little soft blend effect like this we're going to go and highlight the brow bone so I'm going to take this beautiful white shimmery shade called WA from the Faux Calore palette and highlight my brow bone, just a very high point, so right in the arch. Then I'm going to peel off the tape. This is the most satisfying part, guys. I literally love applying tape just for the effect of peeling it off at the end. <laughs> it's so satisfying. Then for lashes, I'm going in with these feisty lashes from Anitude. They're nice and fluffy and full, which I found really helped open the eyes and really give that extra drama to the look. Next I'm going to apply a nude eye curl to my waterline to open up the eyes and then taking that deep purple shade from this Chi Chi Pride palette I'm going to wiggle that really closely against my lash line from outer corner almost to inner corner probably about two thirds of the way across. Then taking this orange shade that we used before on a pencil brush I'm going to blend out the purple so it's a little softer and then I go back in with some of those like lighter orange shades that we used before and blend out any harsh lines or edges. Next I'm going to apply on some bottom lash mascara and for my inner corner highlight I thought I'd go in with a bit of glitter today. I used this beautiful like turquoisey blue glitter and I applied some lash glue on my inner corner to stick it down. And this guys completes today's eye makeup look. I really do hope you enjoyed it. It's a bit of fun, a bit of glam for your uh, everyday makeup I guess whatever you'd want to wear this to I do hope you guys enjoyed the look I find it fun just practicing these really full glam kind of looks just because I'm stuck at home lately if you have any requests for upcoming videos please let me know otherwise have an amazing day I love you all so much stay well stay healthy and I'll see you very soon Mwah. bye